What's up everybody? So if you have been subscribed to me for a while, you have probably seen this DeWalt drill before. And you have probably also seen the replacement batteries. So, I was rooting around in an old drawer looking for the Canadian charger for this drill because I wanted to see if I could convert the Canadian charger to accept the 220 volt that we have here because I have some lithium DeWalt chargers that run on the Canadian battery, um, the Canadian 120 volt that I'd like to be able to just plug into the wall here without having to use the transformer. So while I was looking for that, well, and I found that charger, I also found an old DeWalt battery. Um, so as you know, or maybe you don't know, I have one good DeWalt battery and the replacement battery for this drill. Um, this battery, nothing happens. Um, I had this apart and the cells look almost brand new in here and there's not a lot of scratches on the bottom, at least not as many as this one. And also it doesn't look as scratched up as this one so I don't think it got as much usage, especially since this died a long time ago. So. I was looking on the internet and I found a bunch of different methods to bring these batteries back to life because I think it just needs a boost. Um, so the simplest and easiest was you take the charger, um, you take a power bar, one with a button on it, plug the charger in. your battery in your charger and then you turn the switch on and off for about a minute and then you let the battery sit for the amount of time it takes to charge which in just this case is one hour um, so this is the method I'm gonna try first and I hope it works because I don't want to have to try some of the harder met methods I'll come back once I'm finished this. So as you can see, it's doing the not charging light. So we're just going to take it off the charger and see if there, there's still no juice in it. Um, so the next technique would be to jump start it with another battery. I'm going to try putting it on the charger one last time and then we will jump start it with another battery. Well, look at that. It's fully charged. Let's see if it works. Well, that technique was a success. Um, I'm thinking because it doesn't sound quite as fast, it might need a second charge. So we're going to give this guy a second charge, I think. But that technique works apparently um, so I'll give it a second charge and then update you once I'm finished so it's fully charged up again I'll pull it off the charger I'm hoping it'll do better this time We're going to let it cool down and then I'll charge it up again in about 20 minutes and we'll see if that works. Um, other than doing this technique, the other option would be to take another battery and connect, I think it was the, the negatives and then tap the pot have a wire from the positive to the positive and tap it a couple times. Um, 
why this technique works is because it's the same as taking another battery because you're pulsing the power into this. Um, if that doesn't work, because if your batteries are spoiled, you probably can't bring them back to life. You can replace the cells in here with either NICAD, which is what's in here already, nickel hydrate metal, or if you get the, a computer board and the proper charger, you can convert these to lithium. Um, you have to be careful though, because some of these older batteries won't fit lithium 18650 cells. Um, also, you cannot charge lithium on most of these old chargers. You'd have to um, plug um, some either one of those circular, um, one of these things. I have no idea what they're called. That or a USB charger, because you can't can't charge them with these charges because these are NICAD and nickel hydrate metal only. Um, if you're if you do this technique right away, your bat you can probably bring your batteries back to life. Um, like I said, when I opened this up, the cells looked almost brand new. So I'll let it cool down, charge it up one more time, and I'll give you my final thoughts on this. We may have to, I may very well just replace the cells in this with lithium. Um, that will be a separate video though. And also we have a, another one of these chargers, a Canadian one, so it has the 110 volt. So you might see a video of me converting the 110 volt charger to 220 volt. Um, but that, that again will be another video and also I have many more tool reviews coming. Um, I have some drills and um, no impact drivers but I do have some drills and saws and sanders that will get a review but the, I haven't had them for very long so the review will be um, not for a while because I need to use them for a while before I review them. So I put it on the charger again. I'm getting the hot cold delay. Um, so I'm just going to leave it on the charger. Maybe until tomorrow. And I'll come back tomorrow and see how it works. Um, hopefully it will work better. Otherwise there is another method I might have to try. So I have um, charged it up quite a few more times. Um, I can't get more than 10 volts. Yes, this is an analog meter. Um, it's set for 10 volt, reading 10 volts. I know this is 14.4, but because it's only reading 8, it's only going to go to eh, somewhere around in there. So, the back is the... See, it almost is 10 volts. And the thing is, with this, you mix up plus and minus, all that happens is your wand goes that way. Um, you could also do 50, 50, um, volts. And see, it's, yeah, not quite much. I'll show you a fully charged, good battery. Well, a charging battery. See, it goes up to about 15, yeah, somewhere between 15 and 17 volts. Um, so I think that there are some cells that are dead or not working in here. So, does it work? Yes, it works. Um, if you're NICAD, I, I'm not sure if that this technique will work for um, lithium or nickel hydrate metal. I would imagine it would. Um, so if your battery, your NICAD battery just died and you do this technique, you should be able to get it working again unless there are cells that have exploded. Like if there are cells that have exploded or started to leak in there, it's probably not going to work. Um, I may very well convert this to lithium or get new NICAD cells for it. 
is because it would be nice to have two proper genuine DeWalt batteries for this because the replacement battery doesn't just doesn't quite offer offer the output that this one does. Um, I'll show you. See, it doesn't really give you much of an output anymore. Um, we'll just see how many volt volts are in it. Now, you have to remember that this this battery was sitting in a drawer unused in a damp basement for over eight years. Oops, wrong way. Ah, still reading about the same. Um, anyway, well, you'll probably see this battery again, um, either replacing the cells with lithium nicat or nickel hydrate metal. An interesting thing is, is that it does say Japan on this battery. Um, doesn't say where it's made, but maybe it's made in Japan, like this, this is either a late 1990 early 2000 battery or it's 2008 um i'm not sure if this is the one that came originally with the drill the drill is a 2008 drill or if this is the one that came with the last drill that was early 2000 late 1990 um it's probably a 2008 battery so 12 year old battery hasn't been used in eight years the fact that i could even get it to run 12 volts, is, um, 10 volts is pretty impressive. So, like if you have these dead batteries, like testing them, um, trying out things to get them to work properly, you have nothing to lose because you can't break them anymore if they don't even work. Um, so we have learned that, yes, you can bring these old batteries back to life and I'm sure because it, it sort of worked with this, this technique would work with um if your batteries hadn't been sitting so long unused um we have also learned don't throw your old tools your old batteries even like don't throw your old tools and your old batteries out you never know when you'll find a way to fix them and like th this is a really nice drill like it's got the big beefy chuck that doesn't wobble at all on it I don't think the clutch works, but I yeah. Um, I did take it apart, and I might have messed the clutch up, but it still works fine. I may have just not gotten the clutch needle into place. It's got the three speeds. Um, this is a 2008 drill, so um, the, these replacement batteries, if it's just an impact driver, they'll probably work fine. But for a big high demand drill like this. Um, you need the the powerful batteries. Like, th this is fine for metal drilling and drywall screwing, but if you try and drive, like, a 16-millimeter auger bit, it won't do it. So, anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.